Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Critical Reactions with your host, Brian. Today we're going to be doing some more special selections, which is where you guys can tell me exactly what you want me to do, and I check it out. No exceptions, at least not so far. We've listened to some long tracks. Uh, so today's comes at us from Tamati Watson. Uh, it says, instead of picking one of my favorite songs, I'm going to pick a new song I think you may enjoy. Snooze is the band, and the song is Feels Bad. Videos are awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you for the compliments, Marty. I put a lot of, uh, you know, work into this stuff. I'm glad people enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, so, yeah, that's always really cool. So, this one is not on YouTube. It actually took me a little bit to find it. I uh, ended up finding it on... This is... Bandcamp. So if you're interested about this and you enjoy it, uh, I'll have a link to their Bandcamp in the description rather than a link to this video. Well, a link to the original video since there isn't one. And uh, you can check out the rest of their stuff because it doesn't seem like any of their music is on YouTube right now. So that's really cool. I'm excited about that. All right, let's, uh, let's see what the snooze is all about. Got my attention already. I have no idea where any of this is going. Yeah. This is phenomenal. So we got dotted quarter notes on the instruments against a slow 4-4 four four on the drums. I really like how the drummer broke up the dotted quarter into a quarter and an eighth to play on the drum, uh, yeah, the, the kick drum. So that he could keep his 4 4 feel while still lining up with the instrumentation.
Why does the saxophone sound good? Sound so good over Genty guitars. <laughs> well, that was a wild ride. I don't even know where to begin with this. Um, let's begin by getting that out of the way. Um, so yeah, we have uh, uh, okay. Post rocks repetition with genty guitar work. Like just hyper syncopated guitar work. That really crunchy guitar and uh Tesseract's vocals all smashed into one with a saxophone in it. <laughs> uh I can't make this up. I I would never think to smash all these ideas together. Uh but these guys did and that is phenomenal. So, what do I think of it, though? See, that's a hard question. Because I really enjoyed that sort of what are they going to do next idea. Oh, wait, what are they going to do next? How about that 70s guitar bit in between the genty aspects? Like when it went to that little uh, section where they had the guitar melody... I got like a 70s like jam vibe out of that guitar lead line. Like so many wild, diverse uh, inspirations in here. Um, but yeah, so like I really enjoyed the what are they going to do next aspect of it. You know, the uh, just like when when they come in. And you're like, okay, I'm not. I was not expecting this. There's a picture of a kid holding a, uh, you know, a football and a little family photo here, and uh, the band's called Snooze and it's called Feels Bad. And I was like expecting something a little poppier, to be honest. Uh, and then I get slammed with these, you know, crunchy, dirty guitar tones. Um, and then that syncopation kicks in. We got the drums playing in 4-4. And these guys just, you know, this dotted uh, quarter note feel on the guitars. Um, and then just these, you know, angelic vocals just like echoing over the top of all of it. And like, this could go anywhere. And then they bring in, you know, like I said, that 70s prog guitar kind of feel. And uh, yeah, I was just... My mind was like, where are they going to go next? Mm, not really a problem. But what I disliked, possibly because of the mindset it put me in, is that they didn't go anywhere else with it. They cycled between those two ideas and called it a day. And there is nothing wrong with that. My issues with this listen right here, this, this specific listen... I will not have these issues on a subsequent listen to this song. But the mindset it put me in was, you know, what's going to happen next. And nothing did after the carpet was pulled out from under me twice. Like, it was just two surprises and then we're going to repeat stuff. And like I said, nothing wrong with that. It is a fantastic song. If you dig Gent and especially the post-metal repetition and droning that we've listened to, this is probably right up your alley. But, you know, the, the mindset I was in was looking for the surprises and wondering what was going to happen. And when, uh, you know, you're looking for a twist and there is no twist, it's upsetting, it's disappointing. And that's unfortunately where I went to at about the three minute mark when I realized, you know, this is it. This is the song. Uh, I was a little disappointed. But I know what the song is. I can meet it on its own terms on any subsequent listen. And of course, I know, you know, I have a better idea of what this band is about. Should I check out any of their other stuff? 
So, my disappointment with this reaction, with this first listen, is that it wasn't what I was expecting. And honestly, I was expecting things I couldn't expect. That's what a surprise is. That's what, you know, bracing for surprises. Uh, very, you know, contradictory thing here. Um, but yeah, so I was expecting that I couldn't expect things, and then I did expect them, and I found out that I was expecting them, and I was disappointed because I was expecting things when I was expecting to not expect things. And that's my feelings of snooze. <laughs> um, but yeah, they do a lot of really cool things in here. I really enjoy how they mash things up, but it is a bit too drony for me, at least on a first listen. Um, but I do appreciate what they're going for and that they created something cohesive out of so many different ideas. Um, and there is some really clean guitar work in here. It's not like droning is the only thing they can do. So I am interested in checking out what else they have. Cause, uh, they, uh, the, uh, if we were to personify the band, they got a good head on their shoulders. It's probably more than one person, I would assume, though. But, <laughs> you know how... Oh, yeah, it actually it is. We have uh, at least four... Yeah, four people. So we have a lyricist. Uh, oh! Oh! Now, this is even cooler. See, this is why I like Bandcamp. I should check out Bandcamp more often instead of YouTube videos um, for this channel. I actually prefer Bandcamp if I have to buy digitally. But, uh, yeah, so we have a lyricist, someone who writes the lyrics... Then we have someone who plays the guitars, bass, uh, sings the vocals, and plays the keys. And then we have a drummer who also does the engineering, the mixing, and the mastering. And uh, an alto sax player. Now guys, hit me up here. Hit me up here. I feel like this is in the spreadsheet. Uh, you can't see this because I think I... Yeah, I, I pulled that off. Uh, the drummer, his name is Anup Sastry. Or Anup Sastry. That's in the spreadsheet, right? Is that a drummer? Did he pick his name after a band? Did, it, did his parents name him after a band? Is this the same band or person that is in the spreadsheet? Uh, you know, I got to know because I need this connection. I don't know. This this says a name of a drummer. And that name, I'm pretty sure, is in the spreadsheet. Uh, so that's interesting. There's also not very many vocals. Where did you come from? You weren't here when I closed my eyes. Maybe you could help me out. My heart's stuck in my throat and I can't shout. Breathing out, bleeding out, I can't see you no more. That's that's very concise. Straight straight to the point. Uh, but also... Uh, still, met, still metaphorical. I'm not really sure what's going on here. But I do like how it is short. Like a poem, rather than... You know, like a traditional poem. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines. That's more like a traditional poem than, uh, you know, the story-based poems that we see in more traditional forms of, you know, lyrics where, uh, you know, we have 40 lines or so. Granted, some of them are doubled up. We have choruses and stuff like that. But still, really interesting to see something that's uh, more concise with its uh, lyrical output. Actually, concise is a good word for this. Like, even when you think of the music parts, they're all very distilled down to a feel. Like, the main riff, they found one that works, and they ran with it. Very concise, very short, we play it. It has, it does its job, what we need it to do, let's run with it. Um, even the, the guitar solo-esque part, where the guitar has a lead line... The second time that comes around, it's the same same riff, same the same lead line. So, uh, yeah, it's a very concise song. They have things that do their jobs, and they do their jobs well enough that they don't add anything to them. It is a song that kind of eschews embellishment in favor of something maybe a more could be labeled as industrial. It's not very pretty, but it does the job, so we're going to use it kind of idea. Um, also, just really good uh polymeter going on in the drums like i said there's the dotted quarter note feel not even feel they're playing dotted quarter notes i think at the end i started to hear an eighth into a quarter 
like a but at the beginning I was hearing it more of like a bend so more more of like a so I heard it as you know a modified like a you know a dotted quarter note with a little bit of bend to it and at the end I was actually hearing two separate notes so I don't know if they changed or maybe I was just hearing things differently because I heard the bass kick and the bass kick was creating bias in how I heard the guitar part but I do like how the bass kick was keeping up with that uh, you know three eighth note beats uh, with the instruments while the rest of the drum was playing standard 4-4 with like you know the snare on two and four and the cymbals on the beat or whatever was going on with that um But yeah, so really cool poly polymeter there so that the drums can lay down a beat for, you know, the listener to headbang to or for the band to kind of fall into to feel the metronome rhythm. But also having one of their limbs playing something that lines up rhythmically with the rest of the band. So that was a really smart decision, I think, that allowed the drummer to kind of do best of both worlds, blending in while also being the metronome. It's really good stuff there. Um, so yeah, that's where you guys come in. Now let me know what you guys thought of Snooze. It's Mahdi. Great choice. Uh, I know you said that you you had a favorite that uh, you know wasn't this, but you chose this instead. And I really appreciate uh, that you decided to toss some new music onto this channel, especially one that's not on YouTube. So that's uh, yeah, really cool stuff. If you enjoyed this, like I said, I have a link in the description. You can check out this Bandcamp page if you're not interested in descriptions and you're more of an auditory person it is wearesnooze.bandcamp.com do not go to snooze.bandcamp.com that is not the right place uh, it, that confused me for a little bit that's why it took me quite some time to find this um, they they did a good job of kind of hiding their page a little bit from search engines um, so yeah, also in the description, if you are interested in doing this special, special selection thing, there's a link to the PayPal and some instructions on how to get onto the special selection. If you want to know where you would be placed on the special selection, uh, should you donate to be to uh, you know get on the list, there's a link at the bottom of the description for that. You can see exactly how many people are in each, the regular and the premium list, and you can kind of see how long it would take you to you know get your request done. I like to be transparent with this. I don't want you to, to not feel like you got your money's worth or whatever. So you can kind of uh, rely on two special selections a week. The premiums, I try to get at least one done a week, but I'm really pushing for two. I don't want to get behind on that. I don't want it to turn into another lengthy list to hold over me, uh, you know, to have held over my head as I try to get through it. Um, that's not the point of it. So, yep, that's all there if any of that interests you, as well as any other links in the description, such as a list to my blocked videos. Uh, you, get, you guys can hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you thought about Snooze, uh, you know, if this was your jam. If you guys think my recommendation for people who enjoy post-metal, you know, is that a good recommendation? I hear a lot of the same stuff. I think post-metal fans would enjoy this, but maybe not. You guys can let me know how accurate I am with that recommendation. And, uh, yeah, there's some buttons above the comment section, like subscribe and a bell to ring. If you'd like, they help out the channel immensely. And if you want to be notified about my uploads, they can help you out immensely as well. I'll be back tomorrow with at least one, but I'm going to aim for two of the, uh, the premium special selection so we can get through that one. All right, that list is short. I want to keep it short. I don't want to keep people waiting on it. And like I said earlier, I don't want it held over my head as another lengthy list to get through. So, all right, that is that. You guys uh, be awesome. Keep being awesome. Stay safe out there. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow. If you're not interested in that, I will be back Monday with next week's theme of post-rock. All right, have a fantastic morning, afternoon, or evening whenever you choose to watch my videos.